Halloween isn't all about chaperoning your kids while they trick-or-treat and wearing smart costumes. It's also about partying, and the costumes alone aren't going to make your party memorable. The first thing to remember in throwing a wicked Halloween party is to always have a theme. Your theme can just dictate the decorations you use, or it could also dictate the clothing each person wears. So say your Halloween party theme is vampire stories. You'll expect people to come in all depictions of vampires, from the dark vampire Count Dracula to the sparkly ones of Twilight. You could have a party-long contest to see which person comes in the best vampire costume, and afterward award them a prize or a party favor. However, you could have a party that's decorated solely with jack-o'-lanterns and candlelights and have everyone dress up as they wish. You could also hold costume contests as these types of parties and give a prize to the best dressed person. Ensure that every guest knows there's a prize for the best dress before coming to the party and if possible, tell them about the prize as it will be an added incentive to be more creative. Halloween parties shouldn't look like your average college party filled with booze and grinding to loud music. It should be filled with fun activities that everyone won't feel ashamed of the next day. You may have to go back in your memory bank to the days of church camp and the games you used to play. One of these is a food eating contest. Here you can have the traditional apple eating contest or you can have a donut eating one where donuts are hung from the ceiling. Both are extremely hard to do and a lot of fun to watch. Another fun activity you could use is a scavenger hunt. Each clue could be hidden in a place where it's easy to get spooked. The winners of the contest will also be rewarded with a prize. Another form of a scavenger hunt is finding clues to solve a murder case. The scenario would be something like, Someone murdered the King of Transylvania, and some say it's Dracula. It's up to the party to find out if the rumors are true, and if not, who really killed the king? Have twists and turns, like finding Dracula with a wooden stake through his heart, and your guests will be super entertained. Above all, ensure your party is conducive for socializing. Have a punch bowl and have your music at a level that people will talk to each other. Ensure that even your punch reflects the theme. Lemons painted his eyeballs swimming in the punch, maybe. And the music shouldn't always be the same noise that is heard over the radio waves 24-7. However, ensure the music you use can effectively blend into the background and can be enjoyed by the whole party. Trance music is a great genre to use. The best thing to do is hire a DJ, and a good one will have your party being talked about for weeks and weeks.